Hi everyone, this is Shannon from theirishscrapper.com and today I just have a nice card for you guys. You can really use this for um, any anybody, a friend, family member, etc. Um, you can change up the sentiments. I wanted to use one of our new stamp sets that is called Enjoy Life. There's some beautiful um, fonts in here and some sentiments that I love um, that I plan on using quite a bit. So I thought I would start with showcasing um, one of these and I'm using not only that stamp set but I'm also using our Garden Impressions designer series paper. This is one of the designer series papers that is um, a part of the designer series paper sale for the month of July um, where you can buy three and get one free. This is a lovely um, pack. So these are all six by six. Um, you get four of uh, each pattern. They're double-sided. This is a gorgeous bright pack. So some of the um, designs are floral and then the others are just, you know, more plain neutral. I would say that you could use, you know, in any way. Um, you know I'm a brights girl so I do love all of these colors. Um, and the flowers. These flowers also coordinate, I, I feel, with the Abstract Impressions stamp set. I'm pretty sure that's what it's called. Um, probably not doing a good job here of showing you this as I'm talking. Love these flowers. Yeah, see? Gorgeous. So here's another more muted design and then BAM! Lots of color. And I can actually tell you, um, the colors that are a part of this designer series paper are Calypso Coral, Mango Melody, Melon Mambo, Night of Navy, Pacific Point, Petal Pink, Powder Pink, Soft Sea Foam, So Saffron, Shaded Spruce, and of course Whisper White. So that's a beautiful, beautiful arrangement of papers. Okay. Let me set this aside. For our ink uh, colors today, we are going to use the Mango Melody, the Soft Sea Foam, and the Lovely Lipstick. All right, and then you can see I've kind of um, created a. I kind of this was inspired by a sketch card that I saw um, that I thought would be beautiful to use with this paper, and then I've also included a sentiment on the inside. And then I've coordinated that, of course, with my envelope. So for our um, materials, we have a piece of lovely lipstick. This is cut four and a quarter by 11, scored at five and a half. I have a piece of Whisper White that is four five by five and a quarter. That's for the inside. I have a piece of the Designer Series paper, four by five and a quarter. Then I have another piece. This is two and a half. Let me double check myself. Yeah, two and a half by four. And then this is just up a quarter. This is a piece of Night of Navy. I have a scrap piece of Whisper White. I would say this is probably about a half. It's even under. No, it's a half inch um, by four. And then I have a piece of our lovely lipstick um, ribbon here. And then I've also tied myself a little bow so we don't have to do that on camera. And then, of course, we'll have our medium whisper white envelope. So let's go ahead and get started with this. Don't want to lose my little bow. All right, so we're going to assemble our pieces here together, our, our tops. So let me take this designer series paper. This is the two and a half inch piece. We're going to put that on our Knight of Navy. And I'll show you how I did this. So I did all of my layering first before I attached it to my card. So I'm going to make this flush with the top of that designer series paper. I'm going to grab my Whisper White. We're going to you could use um, Whisper White Ribbon here as well instead of the actual cardstock. I'm going to line that here along the bottom. So I'm going to cover up the seam of that. I'm going to take that lovely lipstick ribbon and I'm going to get myself two little pieces of scotch tape. Do a little cheater method here. 
and we're going to wrap that. Now that main layer to our card base. Just like that. We can flip this. We can go ahead and add our Whisper White layer to the inside. You really don't have to have the Whisper White, but I wanted to add some more stamping um, to the inside. And because this is such a deep color, like if you were just writing in here, you probably wouldn't need it. Um, if you had a black you know, pen, you'd probably be good. All right, so let's go ahead and bring in our die, our Big Shot to do our die cutting. We're going to be using our layering circles. So I have our Big Shot here. I have a piece of Knight of Navy for our um, scalloped layering circle. And then I have a piece of Whisper White for our regular circle. So I have my magnetic platform and precision base plate in here. I'm just going to leave them. I should have actually put my handle this way. Let me turn this around. You do not need um, that. The magnetic one, of course, is nice to have, um, but you don't need the precision base plate to cut the layering circles. Okay, there are our two circles. Now we're going to go ahead and um, stamp. So I'm going to bring in my ink pads. These are all the new ink pads, um, which open like a compact. So I'm going to go ahead and open all of these. Get us ready here. I'm going to stamp the sentiment. Um, when you arise in the morning, think of what a precious privilege it is to be alive, to breathe, to think, to enjoy, to love. Gorgeous. We're going to ink that up in the lovely lipstick and we're going to stamp that kind of off to the right of the circle. Perfect. And then I'm going to bring in the grass. I'm going to ink that up with the sea foam. Let me get myself a background paper. Here we go. And I'm going to stamp right over our sentiment. So about from the middle off to the left. Give that a nice press. Gorgeous. I'm going to bring in the little tiny butterfly um, that is kind of, it's like a partial butterfly I would say and I'm going to stamp that in the mango a couple places. Go ahead and add some adhesive Oops. to this. I'll get that Knight of Navy. Looks good. All right, we'll set this aside. I'm going to bring in our card and we're going to do our inside. I'll make sure I'm straight here. Okay, so I'm going to bring back the grass. We're going to stamp that in the center. Give that a nice press. This time we're going to take how beautiful a day can be when kindness touches it. We're going to ink that in the lovely lipstick and we're going to go right over the grass. Okay, I will touch that up myself. Okay, now I'll use my little butterfly again. I'm going to put one here, put one up there, and one down here. Alright, let's give our card a nice crease. Now we can bring back our sentiment here. We're going to grab some dimensionals. I love, 
our dimensionals. Put offset this to the right here. I want that beautiful designer series paper to show. I'm going to grab my glue dots. We're going to put one to our bow. And we're going to set that one right here. Just like that. Okay, so there is our card. Let's go ahead and finish up our envelope. So I'm going to set that aside. Let's bring back our ink pad. So I have our medium whisper white envelope. We're going to go ahead and just continue on with this grass. Give that a nice press. And I'm going to bring back that same butterfly and I'm also going to grab the other butterfly, which is a full butterfly. We'll use the mango on the partial butterfly and I'm going to use the lovely lipstick on the full butterfly. And maybe I'll do one more of the mango. Such a pretty color. There we go. So that completes our project for today. I love these bright colors. I think they're gorgeous. Um, so if you are looking for a supply list to create more of these cards for yourself, I will have a full list in the description of the video. As always, I look forward to being back with you real soon, and thank you so much for watching. Don't forget about our wonderful promotions, um, the Designer Series Paper Sale. Buy three, get one free. It's an awesome deal. There's no limitations to that, so you can order as much as you'd like. Um, you can do that in my online store using the July Hostess code. Um, there is also an awesome promotion for joining the Stampin' Up! family and my team of Lucky Stampers. You get a whole um, set, any family collection of the stamp pads, that's 10 stamp pads, uh, free, which is like an additional $67.50 like of value. Um, besides your starter kit, which is only $99, you get $125 worth of product. Um, that you get to choose. Um, it is not pre-chosen, so it's an awesome deal. Um, so if you do have any questions about that, please leave a comment and get in touch with me. I'd love to chat with you about it, and I will be back with you guys real soon. Thanks again. Bye-bye.